Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your love reading. You guys, this is for December 15th through December 31st, 2018. This is for the zodiac sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys, if this one resonates for you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. All right, uh, click the box below and all my info is there if you want to reach out for a private reading. December special is the phone readings, one hour for $55. So reach out. Also, I'm on Instant Go under Water and Fire Tarot. All right, we are going to get started for Gemini. These cards have been pre-shuffled really well. I'm going to use a separate deck to clarify, and we're going to get started with a 10-card Celtic spread. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in love. Love messages only. What's coming in for Gemini, December 15th through December 31st, 2018. Let's take a big fat look and see what is going on. All right, you guys, bear with me for a second. Mom here is going to lay out the spread, and we're going to have a chat about it. All right, Gemini. Hope everyone is doing well. If you celebrate the holidays, good luck. I haven't started shopping yet. Well, because I am a big, fat procrastinator. That would be the cancer rising in me, probably. Nothing wrong with cancerians. I love them and love them hard, but we tend to procrastinate a little bit. All right, you guys, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to adjust this down a little bit so you guys get a little a better look there. All right, now, at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, we have the Five of Pentacles. So here's that Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy. Speaking of the holidays, some of you guys may be feeling a little bit left out in the cold financially. I'm doing a love reading, though, so we're talking about love here. So some of you guys are shutting someone out or somebody is shutting you out, feeling left out here just a tad. All right, let me take a look here. Let me take a look. All right, so coming in to the current moment, we have this Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, some type of offer or the energy. Some of you are dealing with Earth energy, but the Knight of Pentacles is slow, careful, responsible. He or she's all about building for the future. It's an offer, but it's a taking effing long time, Gemini. It's the slowest movie night in the deck, right? The energy or this person is just very, very slow to move forward. And what's influencing that or the challenge is this Ten of Wands. It's a ten. It's completion. It doesn't get any worse than this, right? But the Ten of Wands is a lot of burdens. I think that this slow-moving energy or this slow-moving person is bringing a lot of worry, angst, stress, burdens, right? And I think, again, it's because it's taking so long for this to come in. Now, in the recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. More Earth. Scor uh, Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, it's in the reverse. So maybe somebody opened up to you guys. We'll have to clarify that. The Four of Pentacles for me is always a little bit tricky because in the reverse, it can mean somebody just dropped something, right? Wasn't holding on to something that they were holding on too tightly to, or it's the energy of somebody opening up. There's a ton of Earth energy in here. So a lot of you guys are dealing probably with Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but again, the energy is just very, very slow. Okay. Now what's on your mind is the nine of wands. Exactly. You're tired. You're exhausted. Nine is closure, getting towards that 10. We have a nine and then we have a 10. Where did the 10? Yes, the 10 of wands. So the nine of wands is almost at the 10, which is like the breaking point. It's like, I can't take anymore. The nine of wands perseveres though. They're going to keep waiting. They're not going to give up, but there is a lot of exhaustion, a lot of fatigue due to a love situation. A little bit defensive, fearful, right? Because the energy is so long and stressful. But again, with the Nine of Wands, you're going to keep going. You're going to keep persevering. Now, the situation or why everything is happening is this Knight of Wands. Hi, Knight of Wands. He or she fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, but the energy of the Knight of Wands can kind of be a little bit in and out, right? It's a knight. It's not a king. It's not like long-term commitment. This person can be a little bit flighty or the energy can be a little bit flighty again, in and out. You know, it can be known as the player of the tarot, but not always. It can also be the energy of uh, pursuit, right? We have two knights here and they're both pursuing. Knights are always in pursuit of something. 
but they never stay for long. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles will hang out for a while because he or she is about building and it's very careful, slow, practical, right? But in the situation, I think this is more the energy that's just taking a long time that's causing you guys some burdens because what we have here is a Knight of Wands, somebody that maybe isn't committing or somebody that's flighty in and out. Now coming in, we have what you're gonna experience is the Ace of Wands in reverse more fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. So careful, because this can be this kind of Knight of Wands energy where it starts quickly, but then it ends quickly, or it's only sex or passion based, or just a lack of a passion new beginning. And it all has to do with this Knight of Wands character here, whether it's female or male. And you guys are tired. You're tired of waiting. You may have just given up on it in the past, or they did. I think it was more them letting something go, perhaps, you guys also may have opened up to this person. But remember, we have two knights. This person is in knight form, okay? They're kind of dodgy, a little bit in and out, passion-based, all right? So now, because how you see yourself is the hermit in reverse, sign of Virgo, you guys want to come back around to someone or you want them to come back around to you, right? But this person is dodging that whole, like, long-term relationship commitment, <clears throat> Look, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know I will tell it like it is. A lot of people don't like that. They want to hear popsicles and rainbows and gingerbread houses. And I'm just not about that. I would not be doing you any service, okay, if I did that. I could care less about money. I could care less about people liking me. And that's why I tend to get a lot of thumbs downs on my videos. So keep a thumbs down in it if it doesn't resonate or you don't like the message. But this is the message and somebody needs to hear it. So here it is. You guys see yourself as wanting to come around to somebody, and I think the somebody you want to come around to is taking their sweet-ass time and isn't committing. That's what I see. Now, what you don't see, so outside influences coming in that you don't see, is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. More Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Somebody just sees this as a waste of time. This could be you, right? You want them to come back around because why? You're feeling left out in the cold, or somebody is. The energies can be, you know, interchangeable here. But outside influences coming in that you don't see right now is somebody giving up. There's past history. Somebody took some time, some care, some nurturance here, planted the seeds. But they didn't see the fruition of what they wanted. And so the energy coming towards you is giving up. A lack of a passionate new beginning too. Feeling disappointed or like something's a waste of time. Now, in your hopes or fears, Gemini, we have the Six of Cups. So see, some, you guys want somebody to come back around from the past. Or they want you to come back around again. But, you know, look, I have to call it like it's you because you're in the hermit in the reverse wanting to come back around or somebody to come back around. Okay, the Six of Cups energy doesn't always have to be somebody from the past, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, and also the Six of Cups is just that nostalgia, thinking back at the past with good memories. But the problem is we have a knight here that isn't, isn't dependable, most likely. He or she. All right, and you guys are still waiting. You're still persevering here. Now, the most likely outcome is the Ace of Cups in reverse. You know, it's just, it's an, a one-sided situation or it's unrequited love, somebody kind of dumping out the love. <clears throat> and I think most likely it's this other person because they're coming in outside influence with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Now, again, that could be you guys just figuring it out that this person's probably not gonna give you a long-term commitment, right? Again, starts quickly, ends quickly, or it's just passion-based. Um, but let's see what's going on with Gemini. What does Gemini need to know, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs of Gemini, December 15th through December 31st, 2018. Show me Gemini in love. What does Gemini need to know, please? Love messages, love energy coming towards Gemini. Gemini and Gemini, sun, moon, rising. All right, so let's cut it. This was also shuffled very well all right let's take it let's take a look this overall energy is this five of pentacles why is the five of pentacles the overall energy for gemini why is this five of pentacles here and we have the page of swords in reverse somebody's keeping an eye on somebody that was shut out basically libra gemini aquarius energy but also the page of swords in reverse could be uh just not communicating there's this lack of kind of uh, looking into something more. So the Page of Swords in the Upright, while they can be a spy or stalker, that kind of thing, also they're very inquisitive. They're researching. But when it's in the reverse, somebody's just no longer looking to research something or to put something into it. They kind of found what they needed here. Or there's just this lack of communication, so somebody's getting shut out. 
Now in the recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Four of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini? What's this Four of Pentacles all about? The Seven of Wands. Yeah, somebody I think was very guarded. Somebody was highly defensive. More fire, Leo Sag Aries. Somebody had their walls up. And the Seven of Wands can also be blocking or a rejection. Somebody just gave up. For others of you, you wanted this person to open up, but they were highly defensive and they blocked it out, right? It's kind of like standing your ground, but not opening up. Kind of a rejection. Now coming in, we have this Knight of Pentacles. Who or what is this Knight of Pentacles for Gemini? The Three of Wands. So again, more Leo Sag Aries. This is exploration. This is travel. This is waiting for your ships to come in, right? I think that you guys are in a situation where you want somebody to kind of come around here. You want to make plans. You want to get out there and venture and wait for your ship, you know, wait, wanting your ships to come in. It's manifestation. But the energy is just very, very slow. Tell me more about the Three of Wands. Why is this Three of Wands here for Gemini? And the Ten of Pentacles. See, this person doesn't want to commit. More Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. There's a lack of commitment here from this person. Now, what's on your mind is this Nine of Wands. You guys are tired. You want to keep waiting. You want to keep going. But you're starting to lose steam here and, and a little bit fearful, guarded. Why is this Nine of Wands here on Gemini's mind? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse again. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Somebody's just giving up. I don't think it's you guys. I think it, you know, look, I got to call it like I see it. I think it's the other person because you guys are still persevering. You're tired, but you're going to keep going. But we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is disappointed or no longer wants to invest here. Now, this is all happening because of this Knight of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, why is the Knight of Wands here, please? Why is this Knight of Wands here? in the situation of the reading the six of swords in reverse so some of you guys are having a hard time moving on from this energy it doesn't have to be a fire sign it's just somebody that's very flighty in and out a little bit of a player they're not about a commitment right now coming in you're going to experience this ace of wands in reverse why is this ace of wands in reverse coming in for gemini the queen of wands in reverse again leo sag aries <clears throat> but the queen of wands in reverse could, for some of you, this could be your energy, just a little bit salty or bitter, right? Um, that there isn't this new beginning going here. But also, too, some of you are dealing with fire signs. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, there's just no action being taken. Um, on top of that, Ace of Wands in reverse, it's a lack of a passionate new beginning. Or, again, it's, it's going to start real fast and end quickly. So just be careful what you offer. The Queen of Wands in reverse, again, not feeling overly confident either and just not making things happen. You see yourself, Gemini, right now as the hermit in reverse. Why is the hermit in reverse here? Why does Gemini see themselves as the hermit in reverse? The nine of pentacles. So being single and independent right now, kind of concentrating on your money, your career, that kind of thing. I think for those that this is going to resonate, you're not in union with this person right now because somebody was left out in the cold. You guys are single and independent from this person. Could be a Virgo. There's a lot of earth energy here. Um, but again, just kind of doing your thing, right? Taking care of yourself, knowing your self-worth, feeling, you know, again, concentrating on money, career, that kind of thing, that independent single vibe. But you see yourself as wanting to come back to somebody or somebody to come back to you. All right. Now, outside influences you don't see coming in is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse coming in for Gemini? Why is this Seven of Pentacles in reverse? More Earth energy. Yeah, see, the Five of Pentacles, more Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This energy coming in, somebody's leaving somebody out in the cold here because they just don't feel like investing any more time or effort in. It's a disappointment. It's a waste of time. Now, your hopes or fears, Gemini, is the Six of Cups. Thinking back to the past, good memories of the past, or wanting a past person to come back around. Why is the Six of Cups here for Gemini? Why is the Six of Cups here? <clears throat> yeah, the Eight of Cups in reverse. You guys can't walk away from somebody. Eight of Cups in reverse is wanting somebody to return or unable to cut off the emotion and walk away from somebody, okay? Now, most likely outcome is this Ace of Cups in reverse. So somebody's just not offering the love here. Dumping out the love. It's unrequited love. Also, too, just a lack of healing. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Gemini? What do we need to know about this Ace of Cups in Reverse? And the Knight of Swords. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody's exiting quickly, right? This is the fastest moving night in the deck. So you guys are dealing with very slow moving energy of the progress here. You guys want it to go there, but you're dealing with nights. We have three nights here now. And their energy just isn't about long-term commitment. Again, they're in pursuit. The Knight of Swords is in pursuit. He's coming. He's going. He's leaving a situation. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can have some drama or some aggressive communication or fighting or that kind of thing tied to it. Not always. Sometimes the knight, again, is just leaving. He's exiting the situation. And the way that the cards are laid out here, he's actually facing away from the Ace of Cups. What is this Knight of Swords for Gemini? Now, that's y'all's energy, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could be just you guys leaving, exiting a situation here um, because you just realize it's not requited or there isn't balance brought, brought back here. <clears throat> What's this Knight of Swords for Gemini and the outcome? The Five of Cups in reverse, but don't get over the past. You guys will get over it, right? The Five of Cups is no longer looking back at the past and having that disappointment. It's kind of realizing that you do have other offers there once you get up and walk away from this, which you will. You guys are going to get over this. Why is this Five of Cups in the outcome? Why is the Five of Cups here? And the Moon, sign of Pisces, Major Arcana for Pisces. Just getting over things that were hidden. The moon doesn't always have to be deception or secrets. I mean, it can be, but it can also be illusions or depression or anxiety or just not seeing things clearly. Yes, for some of you, maybe this person was keeping things from you, but you guys are going to get over it. You're going to heal yourself and, and stop dwelling in the past. Give me one more card on the moon. Give me one more card on the moon. Also, too, the moon is using your intuition as well. And the Two of Pentacles, yeah, see, again, more Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Two of Pentacles in reverse is dropping a burden, dropping something that, you know, was causing some type of imbalance. And by dropping it, you get your balance back, back into your love life. You know, it's no longer going to be a burden. Could be dropping a juggler, you know, with that moon energy as well. Why is this Two of Pentacles here? One more card for Gemini. What's this Two of Pentacles about, please? King of Cups in reverse, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or somebody that you're dropping, somebody that just wasn't open to love, wasn't open to a commitment, wasn't open to emotion. The King of Cups in reverse, especially in this um, in this deck, he is, see, he's, he's got his cup open. Sometimes the King of Cups will keep that emotion hidden, but when it's in the reverse, it's all falling out of the cup, right? Somebody's just not open to a long-term commitment or love. And sometimes that King of Cups can be manipulative when, when they're in the reverse, right? But more so, they're just not about a commitment or emotion, um, long-term relationship. Some of you are dropping a water sign. Two of Wands in reverse because somebody just wasn't making plans for the future. The Two of Wands is being indecisive, but you're not even planning for the future. You're not taking action, right? You're just not picking a path. You're just kind of not doing anything. So overall, I think you guys will get over this, um, either dropping somebody that was juggling perhaps or just dropping this kind of burden because remember, we have that Ten of Wands in the reading as your challenge. So by dropping it, you guys will get into that Five of Cups in reverse, and eventually here over the next couple weeks, you guys will start to heal and move past that. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. Love you hard. Love me hard back. Take care.